still have that modicum of respect at least to do that slight fist bump at the start there. All right, we have the kickoff off. ready right now for the grand finals, game number one, and we have the first opportunity. Wow. And he scores three minutes, 52 seconds in. The first goal of the grand finals goes to Brazil. Talk about kickoff glitches or whatever. You know, again, I can't say for sure whether there is such a thing called kickoff glitch here in eFootball, but there has been a worrying trend here, Spooks, of kickoff goals or rather goals scored almost immediately after the kickoff and we just saw another example of this Brazil in the lead now one goal to nil Victor that's right one goal in the lead feeling comfortable right now in possession of the ball Alfonso Davies spreads it up to Thomas Muller looking for Kingsley Coleman cuts in with his right there does another one oh, wow. Thomas Muller wow. goal second goal two nil under 11 minutes wow this is turning out to be an avalanche i thought at that moment he was going to wind up for a shot turns out it's actually a beautifully weighted pass in fact to the oncoming thomas muller and wonderful side set to the right buries it the back of the net easy two goals and we are barely 15 minutes in the game that's right another opportunity this time round across to the argentinian counterpart Melian, but he scoops the ball a little bit too much over towards the goal line and we have a goal kick for Jay Victor. Two goals up in less than 15 minutes of the game. Unbelievable great start and remember he is facing the current world champion of eFootball and because that's, that's got nothing on him right now. He is wow. actually playing off the charts. Yeah, but it's interesting to see him now transitioning into a 4-2-3-1 formation here. More stability. He already has a two-goal lead nonetheless. But still, 15 minutes in the game and you're switching to a more defensive lineup. I think, you know, he senses that uh, his opponent will be piling on the pressure and he just wants to shore things up at the back. Double pivot there in the CDM's position with Marcel Sabitzer partnering Leon Kovetska. Let's see if that is a tactic that will work. And it actually might work. Well, it looks like he's going to show off his defense as well because definitely we're looking at a two-goal lead and it's possible to hold on, uh, hang on to a two-goal lead if you manage to defend well. But like we mentioned early on, it's going to be rather difficult in this uh, version of the game. But once again, Casey Coleman on the uh, attack with the uh, Brazilian player, Jay Victor, again in the all-black attire using Bayern Munich, attacking from right to left, facing off against Melian, the king from Argentina. And now he's on the offense. Wow. Oh, nice roundabout on the play there. Kingsley Coleman taps it to the side, crosses it. Lewandowski gets a shot away, save by uh, the goalkeeper. What a chance there. Huge opportunity there. I think Mano Neuer was actually beaten, if not for his trailing foot there. Could have been an easy third goal for Victor. And he's dominating proceedings at the moment. It's like as if Melian is not unsure what, how to deal with the Brazilian onslaught at the moment. But Sabitza lays the ball backwards to Alfonso Davis. Uh -huh. Nice break into the oh penalty God. box there. Oh the my double goodness. Tap. Alfonso Davis still going. I think that's a little bit too much there. He Samba has the opportunity football. to cross the ball into the back. But hey, the Essence right there, right? Samba football. Samba football, definitely. Brazil showing the flare moves right now, going for a short corner, but beautiful work on the ball right now for Brazil. Can Argentina do anything in this game? Not in the first half, at least. He seems to be struggling just to get the ball, Melian. All right, so Brazil tries to go on the offensive this time around, being able to pick up the ball. And we have uh, Melian on the ball with Lewandowski. Tries to do a turn and a pass. Wasn't able to connect with the pass there. Loose ball being picked up there by the Brazilian player. Jay Victor on the attack with Lewandowski down the right flank. Changing the uh, direction once again. Pulling back. He's being forced out. Tries to oh. fake for a long shot. Kingsley Coleman picking up. Oh. Going to the penalty box. Being bunched off the ball just at the edge of the box. This is going to be a very dangerous free kick given away. You know, the skill moves being shown here by Victor. He is putting on a clinic showing that, yes, you can use skill moves in this game here, even though it's somewhat more simulation-like rather than the competition. But still, Victor showing, pulling off the moves, man, and it is smooth as hell. We have Lucas Hernandez standing over the ball. He goes oh. under the crossbar, and it was actually Sabitza taking the shot from the free kick there and a long shot Freedom. from Kingsley Coleman out of nowhere he gets the third goal of the game wow and we're still in the first half of the game here this is a one-sided grand finals I'm not ex I did not expect this whatsoever 
Argentina's Melon the King barely touched the ball, let alone have any form of attack into the defensive part of Brazil's part of the pitch, basically. But it was all so Brazil. It was, it was all, all Brazil, Brazil in the first half. But struggling. right now, we, it's the second half. Things have started to kick off. Brazil in possession with Muller down the left flank looking for the support from Alfonso Davies as well once again. There's a run, but he's not going to pick up the runner. Joshua Kimmich spreading the ball across. Looks like they're going to find Kingsley Coleman again. Once again, the man of the match in the first half, Kingsley Coleman, Jay Victor coming in again with the double tap there, bringing the ball infield. Sabitza with the free kick earlier on onto the crossbar. Sabitza gets a chance. He tries to do the roulette, wasn't able to get around the defender. But again, loose ball being picked up there by Jay Victor. Kingsley Coleman looking for the true pass. Uh, Sabitza again looking for the run of Lewandowski, well spotted there by Malian. Snuffing out the danger, but again, very high up the pitch, well defended. Lewandowski, Jay Victor, picking up the loose ball, one shot there. Oh, Sabitza has a loose ball, wow. and he puts it into the back of the net, 4-0. Goodness me, and the going gets tough and the tough really gets going here for Argentina. Nothing that he can do. Meanwhile, Jay Victor is abusing the double touches here. Even a touch of McGady spins in the middle of the box even. And it's just scintillating to watch. Absolutely nothing the Argentinian could do, even when he got the ball. Passes it straight to Marcel Sapitza. Easy fourth goal there for Brazil. And J. Victor is cruising to victory here in the first leg of this best of three. That's right. We need to see the Argentinian player come back right now. But the loose ball again, giving away possession right now to Brazil. Uh, for those who are just uh, joining in once again, uh, we have Jay Victor using the uh, all-black away kit of Bayern Munich, attacking from left to right, taking on the Argentinian player, Melian de King, using the home red kit of Bayern Munich, and he is down by four goals to nil. Absolutely. Robert Lewandowski once again moving forward with the ball, down towards the left flank, pushing and pulling one of the defenders with him. Is he going to get the ball across? No. Well defended by Malian. He's going to try to reset the attack right now in the middle of the field. Looking for the players to move forward. There is support from Benjamin Pavard coming in. Looking for Thomas Muller. Sabitza, 1-2. Nice passing. Great interception there once again there by Jay Victor. Now even the smallest hint, the slightest hint of an attacking manoeuvre by Melian gets neutralised so easily by Victor. And in fact, he's gunning for the fifth goal. He might actually get it by Leo Isane. Oh, so that was a team effort at the end. They're straight at the goalkeeper. And uh, now Melia has a chance to launch the ball forward. He needs at least a goal, a couple of goals right now. 84 minutes already into the game. Uh, it's almost done and dusted the first game of the Grand Finals. 4 a near commanding lead there for Brazil. Jay Victor, Benjamin Pavard spreads the ball up for Leroy Sané. It's being well marshaled there by the defense. But time is running out for Melian. He needs to get something, gets nothing. mental side of things that's going to be interesting to check out well here we go can Melian the king a craft a comeback here against Jay Victor remember so far from the quarterfinal stage onwards the person the player that loses the first game has never been able to come back to win the whole matchup afterwards so if history if the run of games as what we've seen so far from the quarterfinals onwards continues here Jay Victor is just a step away from being crowned as world champion of via the GEG 2021 here comes Victor yet again a shot this time a little bit too direct to Manuel Neuer just a reminder Melian is the team in red and Victor is the team in black and you can see that build up to that first shot on goal on target right there it's all the way from the back the keeper to the defender very patient simple one touch passing that is the precise passing that we're looking at all throughout the entire tournament that Jay Victor uses that's absolutely correct and absolutely brilliant analysis there spooks by Robert Lewandowski tries to go past one past oh. two oh, go, let's go with the finish there is he offside no he's not Victor scores
was yet another goal here. And off the bar, Robert Lewandowski again becoming creator of the goal for Leon Goreska to tap into and open it. One nil That's to the right. Brazilian. That's we saw once again what we mentioned earlier on, the precise passing that this young boy is utilizing in this game is absolutely brilliant to watch. Out of nowhere, he steals the ball, he passes it into the, the feet of uh, Robert Lewandowski, who has been pretty unlucky throughout the entire Grand Finals, not scoring a single goal right now. Again, he hits the post, but the rebound falls to another teammate, and it's 1-0 in favour of Brazil. This young Brazilian player here, 17 years old, and he is playing the match of his lifetime here. If he wins this match, he will be crowned as world champion, the inaugural champion of the Global Esports Games. Now, he's only about 70 or so in-game minutes away from that. He still must win this match, however, unless Melian the King from Argentina can craft a comeback victory, but he needs to score a goal. Can he do so on the ball? Remember, the black, the team in the black attire is a victor from Brazil, and the team in the red attire is Melian from Argentina. Victor have the ball right now with Marcel Sabitzer laying it off to Kingsley Coleman. Kingsley Coleman steals it from the defender, makes it 2-0. Brazil 2, Argentina 0. Unbelievable. I simply cannot get enough of this boy right here. The amazing, the patience, the passing, the composure. There is so much words to use to describe this boy right here, right now. It's unbelievable. Victor, now, does he have an unassailable lead? It's still early days, of course, but if the result from the first game, if the gameplay from the first game is any indication of what we're going to see in the second game here, I think we might be able to crown a champion within the end of this match here. Alfonso Davis not able to get past Benjamin Papa, but Alfonso Davis is not stopping there, trying to steal it back from the thief that took away the ball from his legs. But here's a counter-attack down the middle. Melian, he still has time. It's only two goals. Can he craft one here? Not with that sort of passing, unfortunately, the Argentinian. And we're coming into half-time, Spooks. 2-0 in advantage of Victor. One more half to go before he gets crowned as world champion. Yeah, you can see how the way how the, the way that Victor maneuvers his players Everyone, from attack to defense is absolutely brilliant because when the counter was actually launched by Melian, Four players were coming back to defend against three of the Argentinians' players. Second half has begun here. We are about 45 minutes away from crowning Victor as the world champion. In his path is Melian the King, who has had an absolutely fantastic run in the GEG tournament so far. But he is struggling against Victor. Can he score at least one goal? Gets a through ball here. Here comes Melian the King. Gets one goal back. Game on. Argentina is still in the running. That's right, Argentina is back once again. Very patient build up, right down the middle, gets a through pass in, gets a goal, but this is only the beginning. So Argentina, Melian must have keep applying the pressure right now to try to find the equalizer. Melian the King now knows that Victor is not involved. It's not, yeah, he basically is not invulnerable. He can be scored against. Victor on the ball right now in the all black attire. Alfonso Davis pass it down the middle. Robert Lewandowski! Oh! Too powerful for Manuel Neuer to deal with. 3-1 for, for the Brazilian, Brazilian teenager. Look at that, that pass again and again. The composure from Lewandowski just to flick the ball around, find some space with that left foot of his. Blasting in the top there. Manuel Noir gets a hand to it, but it's not enough to keep the ball out of the net. And it's 3-1 to Brazil right now. When we just thought that Melian is making a comeback because he got that goal, he got the momentum. That's what he was looking for. But again, the killing point, the kickoff restart, the pressure is always getting to the players when we restart the game. I don't know why. Well, you know, looking at the tactics uh, screen here, it's Don't interesting to note that the player behind is the one that's Nobody making a lot is. more changes to his personnel here, making multiple substitutions, in fact. Melian down by two goals, actually, and he is just minutes away from being eliminated from the competition here. He is still sticking with Plan A, and I wonder if that's a good thing for him or not. Meanwhile, Victor on the right side with Leroy Sané. Not many options inside the box. Forced to go all the way back to Leon Goretzka, and that's an unfortunate a bad pass. Oh, quick counter attack, possible on the right hand side. This is a foot race between Nicolas Sula, the defender who charges in, loses up to Serge Gnabry, passes to the left a little bit, too powerful there. The cross going in, Kingsley 
Coleman with his oh. weak foot there on the right side, blocked by Alfonso Davies. What a turnaround that could have been if that was resulted in that the goal. That was a missed opportunity and unforced error there by Melian, but there's oh. a shot on goal right now. Coming back to the opportunity there, unforced error, and they get a chance. Uh, in fact, it was from Victor as well, and Melian gets the opportunity to go for, but the pass was too strong. That, that could have been a goal to really spice up the competition right now here. Here comes Victor on the ball in the middle of the park with Marcel Sapita. Again, look at his dribbling, just dancing it around. So class. Calm. And it's so, so cla calm. So classily done, so calm, like you said, uh, Edmund. And it's just a beauty to watch right now. 85 minutes have elapsed. Is there time remaining for Melian? Time is ticking away right now. Maybe we can see one goal, but is that enough for two goals? Otherwise, J. Victor, CSC J. Victor, the 17-year-old from Brazil here, he is on course to winning the Global Esports game. A final change in the tactics as he packs the midfield. He knows that too many uh, through balls have leaked in the middle of the park there and he's just showing it up right now. That's right. It's only th th about five minutes remaining in the game. That un unforced error has probably forced him to make this decision right now to just pack the midfield, to try to compact and play ball, just keep possession right now. But of course, if Malian were to put away that chance earlier on, that would have been 3-2 at about 76 minutes there will still be time for another goal but right now we're 88 minutes in and Malian is trying to look for a goal right now which is probably too there far too late ladies and gentlemen CSC J Victor the 17 year old from Brazil playing his heart out here representing Sierra Sporting Club from Fortaleza Brazil is about to become your world champion here at the global esports games 2021 Congratulations to Jay Victor, you are the winner, the winner, the grand champion, the gold medal of the